that feeling when you go live and like half the people aren't sitting at their chairs. <laughs> I got off on purpose. So, hello. This is the first live D and D session with uh, people that most of you probably know from Twitch. Um, it is going to be a three point five campaign, and this is the first day with beautiful technical difficulties to start this all off with. Um, but uh, we are up and running now. This will be running on uh, hopefully on time at six p.m. Eastern. <laughs> on Sundays to go for about four hours with a break in the middle. Um, and this is whew, nerves. No. And here we are. And my group I have before me is, um, as you can see, Thai Time. I've got Skyrid. I've got Siri, Siren Sirius. I have Renset, the mysterious picture. I also have Davy. And currently, Orange Skippy is not with us this week. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, he is just a statue for now, but he will be joining us later. And what I'm going to do is turn this over. Now, for my people in chat, I no, have yeah. some of the notifications turned off just for the session. Um, I, but, and I will be popping those things up in chat sometimes. I should be. Thank you very much for being here, as you promised. Yes. And um, I'm going to turn this over to have each one of these people talk briefly about their ca um, characters. Um, but before I do, it might be better if I actually describe where they are. Yes. Um, Andinia is the world that I've actually created since 1994. Yeah, that dates me a lot. And I've had several players come in and out of that world. And to me, it's like my Forgotten Realms. I've created a lot of creatures, uh, cultures, and background. And what I'm doing here is I'm starting a small little village um, with all the adventurers knowing each other as they grew up or have grown up and know each other. And as they explore my world, they'll, you'll, they'll be discovering stuff for the first time, um, just like you guys, the viewers, will as well. The town they're in is Dovesdale. It is a small English-style thorpe of a town that's based on a very wide river. The river leads up to a mountain, and this is the furthest a traveling boat will go because the water becomes too rough beyond this point. Um, it is a north-south river. To the south is the large uh, city port of Southgate, um, and the river itself is wide enough to need a raft and a rope to cross back and forth on it. There isn't a bridge that spans it. And the town is the birthplace of some of the heroes of the past in this campaign. And this town seems to have a tendency for spawning future heroes. Um, and as we start now, I can give you a better idea. Um, the characters we have, let us start with Elva, Grimm's daughter. Yes. Hold on one second. No uh, there's there's a lot going on in chat yeah. right now. <laughs> Remember, this is our first time, and everybody, we're getting used to this. We we got this. <laughs> this is um, a laid back, but nebulous. Welcome to the Bamboo Palace and the Embarrassment of Pandas. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so, and hi Naz, and hi Vader, and hi Ryan. I love you guys. Okay, so anyway, I'm Ty Time, and I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I've been playing D and D for a hot minute, and I love it. So I am playing um, Ilva Grimstolta, who is one of the Dinians. Well, she's she's actually a mixed blood, um, but her mom got knocked up by an Andinian, and the the others were not not pleased about that. So for political reasons, we left our home, and we are forging our way together. Uh, my mother is the, the local blacksmith because she's a badass. And I'm a fucking fighter who uh, worships Thor. I'm pretty sure I picked. That was uh, the, the bridge, the bridge keeper. <clears throat> yes. Was... So, Ilva is badass fighter. It's going to be epic. Uh, Naz, no, we're using fantasy grounds. And now next is... Uh... Uh, Apollo, with his many names. If you mm -hmm. tell us a bit about your character and yourself. Ah, um, which do I talk about first? Myself or my character? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Both at the same time. Both at uh, well, at the same time, okay, I'll attempt that. I'm from Taiwan, and my character's from um, South Seas, um, by the name of Chu Jianwu. Um, I doubt everyone will be able to pronounce that at all times and whatnot. Hey, Wu, how you doing? Hey, um, my father is a failed farmer who used to be a sellsword. Um, good at whittling and rope work, obviously, working on ships and whatnot. Has um, moved away from the South Seas and all that work with uh, my pregnant mother originally to avoid the whole dangers in grime and work of um, work on ships in dangerous waters. Um, a little bit about me, I just only recently started streaming on Twitch, and uh, yeah, I'm just townies and also foodie. <laughs> All right, and Siren, over to you. <clears throat> Hi guys, most of y'all know me. Uh, I also stream for Variety. Um, I don't need to say much about myself. I think y'all know what type of weirdo uh, pervert I am. Um, so that being said, my character is Seal for short because Seal the ass of faintness is a little hard for everyone to say. Um, <laughs> so, uh, that name was actually a name that was randomly generated. I didn't make that up to make it sound like Seal the ass. Of. Um, but Seal is uh, the illegitimate uh, dumpster baby of a high elf and a human. Um, high elf being the female, she doesn't recognize me. We don't really know she's my mom, we can just assume, being that she's the only elf around who's banging dudes. Um, but basically, um, I'm a sorceress, I'm pretty lewd, just like I am in real life, and um, I kind of don't know who the F I am, so I'm just hanging out with these dudes. <laughs> Do you appreciates your dumpster baby? I know, prom night dumpster baby, that's what I am. Um, yep. <laughs> I'm Nate Dumpster Baby. All right, then next will be the mystery picture. Um, Ren Set playing uh, uh, Tazdrin Dove. Well, I'm a longtime gamer. I've uh, been gaming with uh, Mishla for many years. Uh, my character is a spoiled rich city kid who has been exiled to this town by his parents for political reasons, and that's all he's been told. Um, his parents are uh, fairly well known in the large city, but uh, basically innkeepers for all intents and purposes. Um, the, being a spoiled rich kid, he has uh, acquired himself a manservant to do all the menial tasks that he uh, feels he's above. Fucking rich kids. <laughs> <laughs> Second. Sorry, and then after that, uh, we are going to Davy. And if you want to tell us about Baylor, uh, hello, I'm Davy or David. Um, I haven't streamed before, so this is the first time actually getting on camera in front of other people. Uh, I'm a longtime gamer as well. Been playing all the way from D and D Second Edition through various uh, fantasy games and um, sci-fi games. Fasses Earthdawn is one of my favorites. So if anybody's heard Earthdawn, it's my life. Yes. Um, Baylor, he is a young dwarf, <clears throat> excuse me, just past physical maturity, so about 59 years old. Uh, he's very unkempt, very dirty. Um, he's left his hill tribe of dwarves for a reason that he only keeps to himself, and he's made it to the town of Dovesdale, uh, which he's met some of these other characters. Uh, he took up jobs as grave tenders and, and graves keepers, so that's what he's been doing. Uh, wears really heavy brown leather boots with straps and a dirty cloak, and um, everything about him is just very unkempt. Uh, he's socially awkward. He only likes to basically talk to people that um, come into the cemetery or gravestones and tombs and obelisks and things like that, which is where he's kind of learned some of his magical abilities. He is a wizard, and that's, uh, that's what I'll tell you about Baylor for now. Motherfucking wizard! <laughs> and then Orange is no longer with uh, Orange is no longer with us. Orange is not with us. <laughs> Orange is no longer with us. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Orange is, you know, suffering a vacation right now, and he um, we're still in the works of the character, but his parents were linked to um, 
Um, he hope his parents to stay. I wish I could suffer a vacation. <laughs> yeah, I know it's, it's, it's tough. Um, and also, I am looking into my audio because I am being told that I'm quiet and you guys are a bit loud. So I'm trying to <coughs> tweak that, but that's where I might fail there. So that's why my head's in different screens right now. Um, <laughs> Dunin has catapulted a large water balloon filled with soapy water at the dirty dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, Water has no effect. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can have a cancer for that. All right. All righty. So, so I'm not too sure how my audio is now, uh, Shelby. How am I sounding now? I've uh, reduced theirs a lot, and I have um, not been able to increase mine any better. So, I'm hopefully, by reducing theirs, you can increase the volume. Um, but... Let's see. Okay. So, that being said, let us start. Now, we've got two main screens. This is our casual screen until a battle map is brought up. And now, as I'm starting, um, the, let's get going here. Now, for purposes, the date is Monday the 11th, September 1256, Sienna's Grace. Now, you might think to yourself, what? That's kind of very, you know, our calendar. Yeah, I could have made a whole new calendar, but, you know, Tolkien didn't. But it has its roots. The months are based on the ancient emperors of the old empire before the gods war. And the months and the days of the week are based on the Din and a few of their cultures named after their pantheon, like Thor's Day and all that type of thing. So that's how it came about in this world. But it is September. It is the fall. The color is going from the trees. And... It is shitty. It is overcast. It is cold. The rain that comes down are pelts of ice that just dig into your skin. There is not that many big, nice cobblestone paths through here. So a lot of the paths between the areas, excuse me, are muddy, gritty, and uh, <laughs> muddy, gritty, and just how the dwarf likes it. Just exactly, exactly how I like right it right now. Um, <laughs> And effectively, everyone's trying to set up for some of the fall festivities. Um, there's the there is like your you got the biggest gourd being done like a giant pumpkin. Um, so oh, do I get to celebrate Odin's ride for his hunt, the autumn hunt? You do that. You might talk to your mom about that, but it, <laughs> this village, this village is they, they haven't got a clue really. Okay. Um, but uh, Wu's father is been trying. He's had this giant wooden bucket over what could be a pumpkin that is his prized pumpkin. He's going to try and bring to this um, uh, festivity. Um, but no one's seen it. But he swears it's the biggest pumpkin he's ever grown under this hidden under a bucket. So uh, yeah. But festivities are going on for that. There's also a bunch of fall festivals coming in. The harvest festivals are are, are starting in that. And uh, there is a boat currently up uh, for supplies um, as they're grabbing a bunch of supplies here and also grabbing a, uh, selling a bunch of stuff to the, sh the merchants, uh, the store shop, I should say, here. Um, there is one Church of Siena, and Siena is somewhat new, like, well, relatively speaking. The calendar is based on her rise. Before that, the humans in the area had no gods or pantheon but that is part of the past there um, during this time everyone is here for their own reasons to help out um uh, it's the blacks uh, the blacksmiths got supplies that are coming in on this shipment um there's also a few uh the church the, the cleric frederick has ordered for some reason a couple of cadavers that we're going to be given a good burial or something up here. But for some reason, he put this extra order in. Um, but Baylor, he's quietly ordered you a couple of things for study. Because uh, he's interested too, but he doesn't want that to be getting out. Because you know, it's very good if the local priest is uh, talking about the undead and stuff, right? Um, other than that, uh, the, 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 the place is bustling with people. And there's a few foreigners that have come in there. Uh, now, in my culture, just to let you know, Din was mentioned... The Jewish people, um, or the native people to the northernmost of this land, they are very Viking and Norse in design and build. Um, and uh, currently, they used to be part of Andinia. The name Andinia comes from the two tribes of Andos and Din coming together. Um, the Din themselves have recently gotten 
their own separate